what is up guys, so time to do speed test comparison between Samsung Galaxy S10 comparing last year S9. So let's go start it. Before that, I'm going to give you side by side comparison here. So we have volume up and down as well as the Bixby button, which is nothing changed on this side. On the bottom, same thing except for the speaker will change here. Everything going to see same on this side. The power key move up a little bit here, but same there. On top, everything same except for the antenna lines and the microphone move a little bit inside. On the back side of the phone, we have a triple lens camera compared to single camera and the fingerprint scanner now in, in the display, so that also change. Flash we have, hardware monitor, everything in the same spot, but different way here. But anyway, I'm just going to put it up and give you more specs about the device. One, two, three. So they're both booting up right now. Let's see which one boot up faster. I'm sorry guys, my fingerprint there, but anyway. Let's see, S10 probably the fastest one here, but let's see. Yep, S10 did boot it faster. Still booting here, S9 from last year. The 8 gigs of RAM do help this S10. They boot it faster, but still booting right now. And after like 10, 15 seconds, the S9 booted up. Still loading here at the application. So guys, as you can see, the display on both of the device. So really, really awesome display. So for the display wise, we have Super AMOLED display in S9 compared to Dynamic AMOLED display in S10. So for the display wise, we have a 5.8 inch display in S9 comparing with a 6.1 inch display in the S10. The resolution a little bit change here compared to last year. We have a 1440 by 2960 last year compared to this year we have a 1440 by 3040 so a little bit bump up to resolution but the pixel density more in the s9 we have 568 compared to 551 so definitely more pixel density you're going to see in s9 and also the resolution i bump up to the quad hd so this max out the resolution as well as the brightness so you can see the best color in the display. Also the processor, we have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 processor comparing with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 from last year. Now GPU, we have a Geno 640 comparing 630 so obviously make a difference a little bit. As well as the RAM, we have 8 gigs of RAM comparing 4 gigs of RAM in the S9 so definitely we have more boost, more power in the S10. Now they can shoot up to 4K videos from the back camera in both devices, comparing only 1080p videos in the front camera, so they are both equal there. Also, the battery wise, we have 3000 mAh battery in S9, comparing 3400 mAh battery in S10. Now, they're both running right now Android 9 Pi at the moment, so they both have latest update. But let's just find out, guys, which phone is fastest between these two. Obviously, the S10. So, guys, we're gonna start from phone dial application one, two, three. I think S9, Play Store, S10, setting, again S10, so I just put it in the night mode so you can see completely blacked out. So next is Twitter, S10, Facebook, again S10, Snapchat, S10, Instagram, S10 WhatsApp I think it's same time so next I'm gonna open some games starting from Asphalt 9 and let's see which application load up faster obviously in the S10 but let's see and sorry about the fingerprint guys again S10 fall behind S9 so next I'm gonna open Model Combat X And let's see which application load up faster. S10 is moving on. Yes, S10. And after two seconds, it's S9. So next is PUBG. So that 8 gigs of RAM do help the S10 to move faster compared to the S9. But anyway, as you can see, speed-wise, only like two to three seconds 
further ahead compared to S9. And it's finished now almost. And as you can see, the S10 fast. So next is Temple Run 2. Also, guys, you're gonna see some color difference between the display, but as you can see, really, really close colors. In the both displays so the s10 is fast so as you can see the color wise we have a kind of more detail on this side compared to over there anyway I'm gonna play a little bit here and you can see we have more darker this side compared to we have light over there but anyway as you can see the color wise next is subway surfer a bit delayed over there but anyway you can see it s10 still loading in s9 and i'm gonna play a little bit here same thing with the color as you can see we have different we have light color compared to dark over there so next i'm gonna open a chrome that will be the samsung website and S10 loaded up faster, everything got loaded up. So next is internet, Wikipedia website. S9 this time loaded up faster. So it's time to do some multitasking. I'm gonna open a few application. I know they handle really good, but this time we have eight compared to four. So definitely we have to find out which one refresh here. But anyway, the subway surfer both running right now in the background next I'm gonna open PUBG and the S9 refresh but anyway moving on with the Mortal Kombat X again a refresh in S9 next I'm gonna open Play Store Refresh in S9. So open Twitter. Refresh in S9. Open Instagram. Refresh in S9. So almost all the application refresh in the S9. So time to run a Geekbench score. And as you can see, guys, they both are optical processor, but different year. But let me just run it one, two, three. So yeah guys, I'll catch you in a few seconds as soon as they are done. So guys, this will be the score between S9 comparing S10. I know guys, this S10 completely blew away the S9 numbers. I mean, really huge number here, but this is score between these two devices. So guys, let me know what you think about the speed test comparison between S9 comparing the S10. I know guys, they are really great device. The S9 only like two to three seconds slower compared to speed wise. I know this four gigs of RAM coming eight gigs of RAM, so definitely eight gigs of byte. Is more faster and we are reliable to save data more but anyway this is a speed test comparison let me know guys what are you thinking leave your thoughts in the comment section below i'll catch you next video peace out